Hello guys, as always this is Cry and welcome back finally. I know it's been a quite a long hiatus, it's been about a year now, but um, I finally got myself some free time again. I've got myself situated at a new job so we're all good and we're back. Making regular content is the plan. Um, I'm going to kick things off with Cabal Space Program. Now I believe this was the last video I put up, um, was doing a tea break with Cry on the Kerbal Space Program and there's actually been a hell of a lot added to the game since. I kind of stepped away from the game since I made the tea break with Cry and when I came back it was just a whole host of new features. The currently running version um, 0 0.18.2 .1, uh, which is the most current build of Cabal Space Program. So let's dive okay, in guys, here we go. We are back and this is the overview of our whole station. Um, here on the planet Kerbin. We've got, as you're probably maybe aware, there are some new features on this screen itself. In here is the vehicle assembly building where we can build ourselves some rockets. Um, here is the tracking station where we track all of the stations and uh, spaceships that are currently in orbit. Here is the launch pad, I think it's quite self-explanatory, and here we have the space plane hangar. Now this is a really cool addition that they've added. They've actually added the ability to make planes and other um, as they say space planes. Um, what this pretty much is is the vehicle assembly building but it's turned horizontal instead of vertical for you to build and it also launches on this nice big launch pad at the back so I figured the best thing I would do is to show you what I've currently been doing and once I've showed off my personal game we will go ahead and we'll create our own save. So here we are in the uh, map overview, we can scroll out and I can kind of show you what they've done to the game. So when I was playing I think there was only the ability to go to one of the two moons here which is the Mun. I'm not completely sure um, what features have been added since and what were already existing so I'll just go through all the current features of the game. So this is one thing which is like the global map screen I suppose you could call it. If you scroll right out you can see all of the planets that are currently orbiting the Sun first closest is um, Moho, then we've got Eve, then Kerbin where we're at, but I've got a bunch of crap <laughs> floating about in space, then there's Duna, then there's Drez, Jewel, and then finally Elo. And each of these has their own orbits of moons and such. Um, I don't think Elo has because that's its own, it's kind of a tiny planet on its own, so. Um, but I know if we zoom into Jewel, Jewel is quite the number of moons numbering it so it's almost like its own little solar system in here but you've got Pole, Bop, Tylo, Vol and Lathe. Now Lathe is like the coolest thing ever. It's kind of like its own, it's like a massive water world and it's just a bunch of islands. Um, but yeah they've added so much to this game it's so cool. Um, I do not have the skill to explore it out just yet. I'm sticking to my own little world for now. Um, so I'll just show you some of the stuff that I've got. Um, two things that I've got in orbit around the Earth, or Kerbin as it's called, are a satellite and we'll go ahead and click on fly to fly this. And what this is, is a uh, unmanned um, vessel which just orbits the Earth around in a circle. And what it does is the idea is it's supposed to be relaying information back. Of course that's not actually implemented in the game itself, it's just kind of like a neat little thing to do. Um, so this is the unmanned command module. Operates off electricity, so we've got here some um, solar panels to gather electricity and as you can see here, electrical charge stored in these batteries. Uh, it's also got some uh, liquid fuel, two mini liquid fuel, and, uh, liquid fuel tanks and a little liquid fuel engine on the bottom here. Um, it's not really much to say if we just exit back to the space center and go to the tracking station. Um, so I've got one Kerbin satellite here and I've also got a MUN satellite which is the exact same thing but it's just orbiting the MUN itself. Next thing we've got to show you is the MUN station I'll show you. This is actually a station that is actually on the MUN itself. It's a permanent structure now. Well not permanent, it can take off and you know do its thing but it's meant to be a permanent structure on the moon. Now the really neat thing that they've added is they've added kind of little easter eggs almost to all of the planets and 
this is the Mun's Easter egg. It's kind of like a little stone archway. So I decided what a better place to park my little station than next to it. And what this pretty much is, there's two guys out here at the moment. And it's just a little self-sustaining kind of uh, home for them. It's got some RCS tanks here, it's got some communication dishes and again the communication dishes don't do anything but they're just cool looking. It's got some batteries, some solar flat panels um, and this is a little crew hatch which is a storage container for little kerbals to chill out in. And then in here we have a little rover that's been added. Um, this is actually a mod, these wheels aren't actually supported yet by the game but this is a mod that I added which is really really cool um, I don't use a lot of mods, I only use, really use mods that add stuff to the game that isn't already in the game um, so yeah, just some land gears, I also put some wheels on it here um, if we lower these gears um, this was because this thing's really hard, like once you land on the MUN itself it's hard to kind of navigate around so I added its own little wheel so it kind of had its own propulsion system going on and I wheeled it into place here and then I docked it using these docking stations here uh, to the little craft and this little rover can go about exploring the MUN at its leisure so that's the MUN station if we exit back now and I'll show you f uh, lastly the space stations that we got, so this is Gaia, space station Gaia which is orbiting around Kerbin this is made up of three different, uh, actually four now, four different components which are all docked together in space. Um, this is all majority stock parts aside from this girder, um, this inflatable ring in the middle and this girder. Aside from that this is all new stock parts which is really cool. Um, we'll go more into the stock parts once we actually build ourselves a rocket. Um, but I just want to show you what's kind of possible with this game. So this is, I really love this station, it's really cool looking, if we open up the resources here we can see that it's got electricity, it's got monoprop which is the RCS fuel and it's also got liquid and liquid fuel and oxidizer which is stored in this little space plane here which is also docked in and as, as I said it's made up of four parts, one part is this little um, module here which is just docked in, then we've got this first section which actually ends here, this is where it's docked um, so that's section one which was launched up, then the middle section was launched up which is ends here so in between these this was launched up and then I launched the identical from the top and just fixed it to the bottom so they were symmetrical I just think it looks so cool um, so this is a, there's a five man crew up here at the moment and they're just casually orbiting uh, eventually I want to use this as a refueling station so what I'll do is attach some like launch up just some tanks that I can strap on to these docking ports and then any ships can dock refuel and off they go. If we go back to the space center I'll show you the last space station that I've built and it's called Space Station Minotaur and it's currently orbiting the MUN so if we fly this and then, then this I went for a slightly different design um, I wanted everything to be designed fairly similar but, uh, so they kind of looked they were from the same place but I didn't want to just recycle everything. Up here we've got a four man crew or a five man crew up in this space station again. They look like they're all freaking out but um, yeah again just another space station. doesn't have as much on it, this has only got electricity and monoprop. Um, this was just kind of testing me to see if I could actually get a space station orbiting around the MUN. Um, it's not as big and uh, it's not as grandiose as uh, Gaia but it does the job. So if we just exit back to the space center and that's just kind of showing you what I've built myself in my own spare time. Uh, what we will do next episode guys is we will actually start up our let's play and we will start a fresh new save. Um, I'm contemplating taking any mods out and just kind of doing it legit. Um, but there are some mods that I feel that are crucial to the game at the moment. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. And yeah, stay tuned for the next episode of Cabal Space Program. Thanks. See you later guys.